Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to part 12 here on the Swiss Touch with me, Mikianso. Um, I haven't really done anything in here from the last time we've been here together. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, uh, real life. So, uh, done a bit of selling just to get some cash together to yeah, make some more improvements to the dairy. Um, don't know if they're improvements or not, we'll find that out. Just uh, cleaning up some animals, animals, or beef cows. Um, I updated the uh, the cow mod, um, so the cows we bought last time have changed because uh, the new cow mod for some reason had different cows. Don't know what that is about, but anyway, let's uh, jump down. As you can see, they've put a few trees up around there. Uh, it doesn't really look the best, but hey. Um, yeah, so we changed the cows to these boys. These are the milk cows. Um, I don't know. Whenever I changed the... Um, or updated the, the cattle mod, it changed the way the cows were done, so... Yeah. Um, so, oh, is there 79.30? Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. It's just... Have yeah, you know, put wee bits of tracks in around here and whatnot, and yeah, yeah. So it's an ongoing process. <coughs> we should be pretty good at it by uh, the end. Let's uh, get a harvester started. And uh, we need to get some money up to uh, to generate our next tree harvester. Get the scorpion. The scorpion king we still have. We can sell it off if we want to. Although um, I'm a bit reluctant to do so until we've uh, tried to test this new tree harvester uh, that I have in mind. So um, for the time being, we'll keep our scorpion king. And uh, let's put you out the harvest. Um, uh, beans. What are these? These are beans, aren't they? That's wheat. Has to be wheat. It is, it's sweet. So, uh, this is field number one, two. Is it field three? I'm getting a hard time remembering which fields these are. Up and down, we'll, we'll say this is field three. Got all that lovely stuff. So we'll do the two headlands. Uh, we'll do it the other way. Ooh. That looks a bit. Yeah, that looks actually alright. Let's uh, let's just start you from the first waypoint. Uh, first, the uh, the enable straw swath. Yes, we'll do that too. Mm. F one, not escape you, muppet. And we'll play that from the first waypoint. And I'm just gonna take those away. So it should be leaving a straw swath now. Guys, I've been thinking about our bailer. Um, it's missing stuff because of the, yeah, well, not be too bad on this field, but on the slanty fields, you know the the the, the, the you know the, the big terrain, it's um it's sliding down the hill. So what I was thinking was I was going to replace the baler with this. Uh, no, this one. Um, let me know what you think of this, guys. I'm not going to buy it until you tell me what you think. But it's a bit OP. But, you know, it's going to collect all of our straw. It's got a, a width on it of 19 meters. It's one of these ones with the arms that come out and collect it and stuff. Um, definitely make building a lot easier. Especially on the, the, the gradients when the, uh, the, uh, the, the baler seems to want the, you know, the weight of it slide down the hill and miss a lot. So you can, uh, you can tell me what you think of that idea, guys. I have uh, equipment land everywhere here. Um, let's go and uh, use you. Yeah, go and put a uh, gravity wagon on this. You won't get fuel. 
Let's go get some fuel, man. So, guys, what um, what's your ideas on the series so far? Um, I know that you know, rings a bit everywhere, but uh, I don't know. It's starting to take shape. Having fun. Um, I know we're doing the animals on the Glen Island series, and we're bringing more of them in here. Now, obviously, we've diversified a bit here with the cows, having a, um, a sort of a beef farm and a dairy. Um, do we want to see the rest of the animals in here? The reason that I'm asking... Oh, petrol station's here. Um, the reason that I'm asking is because we're using the variable animal species mod on here, which will make things a wee bit different. Again, um, totally up to you guys. I, mean, I can put chickens and whatnot in, but... We'll be paying a lot more for the chickens and feeding them a lot more and stuff. Same for the horses, same for the pigs. Hello, do we really want to do pigs? No, no. Well, I'm saying that the variable animal and species mode kind of gives it more meaning because, you know, they produce more manure and slurry and stuff which we can use in grass fields and etc, etc, etc. Let me know. In the uh, comments, um, and because of that, I'm recording this more or less, you know, earlier than I normally would because of the way I'm working at the moment. So uh, comments are a bit thin on the ground, but definitely keep the comments coming in, guys, and we'll get around to them at some stage. Uh, we need to get you a bath as well. Actually, do you know what? While we've got the cash there, do we need to maintain any of this? Sliding bar in there would be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, so yeah, you need repaired, so there. Thought that. Is that it? You need repaired. I'll have to repair you before we sell you anyway, if we do sell you. I got it, guys. Happy days. The drop bar on this is pretty fixed. You know, it doesn't flex too far. You know, with the proper like a proper dolly wheel does. So it sort of makes it easier to reverse and stuff, but also makes a nightmare to go around. You know, the tight corners. Uh, Cody Burnham saying, great vid, where did I get the 8530 from? I put the link there in the, uh, in the comment there after it, so, uh, the FS Sweden, if I remember right. Um, <laughs> Dwight, jeez, you, man, you're going fairly trolling through the archives there. Uh, on the forfeit PC build, uh, haha, <laughs> to probably build a PC, you need a big-ass chainsaw. Um, Dwight, I still don't know where I used where to use the hammer and that thing, man. And if you sat through three hours of that, and you're losing the rag at that thing. Yeah, fair play to you. Um, I'm actually surprised I didn't actually throw it out. Uh, especially when it got to the foodery wires. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm going to sell this because uh, it's... Uh, it, it works. But the problem with it being... Um, whenever I was filling, it over, you know, once I filled the trailer, it kept on filling, and, you know, the, uh, the TMR kept coming out, but it just disappeared. So we lost, like, a, you know, about 40,000 TMR, I think, which wasn't good. Um, I know I use this a lot, but I'm going to probably re just replace it with a buster silo. It works, it's functional. Yeah, well, and I know that it does work, guys. So that's the reason I'm using it. Well, um, is it going to be too big for here? Uh, that's th that's the question. Maybe. Yeah. Let's put it over here then. Well, if it's quite nicely along that back square of the fence, then doesn't it? Oh, that 
of harvesters are they? It does fit in nicely there. Oh, it stretched that out a bit. Uh oh, no. Ah, that's not too bad, actually. That works. That works. That works pretty well. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> we'll have to make some more TMR and stuff for these guys, but, you know, we'll get around that eventually. Um, <coughs> This is what I mean by the bailer missing stuff, guys. I mean, I might have hay left in that field. I actually went over it myself again, but... um, Yeah. I do want to try something different on this one, but... This is field number four, so... I accidentally done where is it? Field number four window. That can go. Alright. This is uh field number four. So we need to load field four boundary. Field five boundary. Uh. Oh this is field five. Uh uh oh. Boob boob. I've just which one's that then? Ah, that's what the boob boob is. So, yeah, we're going to have to re-record that course anyway. So, let's get rid of that again. So, we'll put on the field 5 boundary. All that good stuff. One head on should be nice enough. Generate the course. Where does it start? Uh, I'll get rid of the harvester in a second. Where is that? See, the, the problem is, guys, course play is being funny on this field. I had to do most of this myself, the planting and stuff. Where is... See, it didn't actually make the course, did it? V5 boundary. All that lovely stuff. Generator. And it took it away again. Um. Okay. So this course, this, this is going to be a nightmare of a field. Um. Again, another reason. Oh, okay, Let me fix that harvester. Uh, uh, how did you end up there? Come on, man. Seriously? First headland. Where did it win the hinder? Of course, play really starting to be derpy like. You get all the way around here, and then you decided to go all the way around there. That's uh, interesting. Must be another crop there, that's why. This is a nightmare I'm having on this map as well, especially with the edge of this field. I'm gonna have to maybe bring the boundary in a bit. Because uh because of the terrain the harvester's not harvesting it at all, so which means that I'm having to do this quite a lot. Which isn't fun. Uh, Kevin Jensen send their chocolate and cheese on this map um, referring of course to me uh, mentioning them some of the products of Switzerland chocolate <laughs> and cheese but there's a uh, your cheese arguments full of holes Swiss cheese full of holes no okay bad joke I'm gonna shut up now 
No more jokes. This one is right a bit earlier this time we make the turn. Yeah. So I'm gonna say from the nearest waypoint, continue that again. <laughs> oh jeez, oh man, seriously, my jokes are getting worse. Uh, back to the big M. Um, I'm fancy doing something a bit different this time, guys, to um to fill in the BGA. Um, again, it's going to involve uh, grass work, but maybe something that I would generally more see down around this area. Uh, let me quickly knock this field out. I'm gonna have to do this myself. Um, which is another reason I'm saying for the big bailer, you know. I know that it's a wee bit sort of probably cheating compared to what, you know, what we used to do the OP stuff, but at the end of the day it might be uh, just a wee bit easier and quicker, guys. as much grass and hay and stuff as we can to uh, feed all these animals with the animal variable animal species type of molly type thing um, they do take a lot more food a lot more food so we're going to have to be uh, oh that's a bit um, quite productive on our uh, bailing and whatnot. Probably just build this one, and uh, yeah, we'll probably just build this one, guys, and um, make it into silage bills. But we'll bring the uh, the Anderson Group thing up to the field, and we'll do it in the field this time. Now we know we can auto load the bills. And um, the other grass field, um, uh, we have some hay bills made, but the other grass field I'm going to maybe try something a bit different on. Um, which is going to involve course play. So that should be fun. Just need to get some more money up to get the equipment we need. So we'll have to start um, logging again on our new area pretty soon. Again, it's all money, guys. All money, 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 money. And this is our other field. Remember, we extended it. So this is field one. Yay! Go field one. We like field one. Field one, all that lovely stuff. Generate the course. Why are you starting up here? Interesting. Ah well. Uh, first waypoint. Drives the course there, please. It should work okay, actually. I have to say, getting the big air in is is quite a difference. Circle, I think, pretty amazing though. Yeah, actually, just while we're thinking about it, um, if I go to the garage, we don't need our, our uh, butterfly mowers anymore, so we could always sell those. Uh, where are we? I'm gonna get a good forty grand back. Yeah, not gonna build this one, guys. So we'll uh, we'll come back to that. Excuse me, still suffering with a bit of the head cold, actually. So hey, um, that's what I get for working inside. Right, you're doing nicely there. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna build this one, aren't we? We're going to do this one ourselves. The power even going up the hill, guys. Look. See, as soon as you hit that bailer, fine. The 
big am the, the pickup or the Yeah, you see it's it's not picking up the whole swath of the big am either. Tell you what guys. No, I'll wait and see what you say. Before I go ahead and buy that. Probably wind roll might help it, but again with this sort of field we're really, really gonna be struggling on how to do it ourselves. Especially can you try to imagine getting the, the squad running around this bit? That's not gonna work. See, if I try to correct it, it keeps moving the bailer away from me. And it wouldn't be any different with the the, uh, the, the other one, the uh, in-game one. Okay, you know, be the same sort of thing. Yes, Harvester will fix you momentarily. Of course, Blake is jealous when I look after other things you see. He's jealous with me playing with other tractors. That's what the problem, of course, Blake is. He's jealous. Again, we're going to have to come up and uh, fertilize this one ourselves as well. See, yeah, I really wanted to put course play on the work. Uh, Doing this, this sort of thing as much as possible, so we or we can get back to, you know, doing as much logging as we can. But this field here, for some reason, refuses to work with course play. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not properly set out right in the uh, the map, or you know, maybe the field boundary hasn't been created properly. But you see that there. I mean, I I actually drove around and created a field boundary for this one, but course play still won't work on this field. So, I mean, if you have any suggestions on that, definitely let me know. I mean, course play, have I, it's pretty up to date. I mean, there's probably about 10 versions out since I updated this one, you know, a couple of days ago, but, you know, it, it's pretty up to date. Again, guys, uh, a big thank you for all your. Uh, your subscriptions and um, anybody that's new out there, welcome along to the channel. Big M slipping. Uh, gonna be one of those days where I argue with course play. Course play, don't make me take my chainsaw out of That's it. Yeah, no chainsaw. Quite honestly, though, I mean, course play is gonna find this map hard to, to work on because of the the tree in and the, the angles and you know everything else. It's, you know, it's just one of those things that's going to happen with course play, I'm afraid. You see, it's bouncing tonight. Yo. It's, you know, it's, it's just the way the map is. Uh, not slagging the map off of that either. I mean, that's... That's um, the way the guy created it. And I like the way he created it. I mean, I'm really enjoying playing the map. It's just not really... Course play friendly. That's why I wouldn't have uh, any sale courses for course play on this. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, I mean, probably would try it for a bit of fun. Maybe. All right. So you need to start at it. Oops. a lot though, aren't you? You are going to miss quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but... Oh well. Alright, let's get this harvester sorted again. Uh, 
that maybe should have done an extra headland on that. Again, we're still learning the, you know, the bits and pieces of this map. We're still, you know, it's still relatively new plan. I mean, we're only in what part twelve. So yeah. Again, guys, keep the comments coming in, and thank you all for your um, likes and shares and subscribes and all that lovely stuff. Um, greatly appreciate it. Um, I will try and I say try to get some work done here. Um, let's see, next this is going out on Wednesday, so yeah, hopefully you know um, I will be off a few days before the next episode of this is due. Um, so I will try to get a bit of work done, get a bit of money generated, um, and hopefully get back into the login at that stage. Again, guys, um, leave in the comments down below what you think of using the, uh, the Builder of the Arms on it. Just for this map. Uh, again, just because of the way the train sits. Let me know what you think. Um, any suggestions to make this area look a bit sort of better would be nice too. Um, it's gonna be hard, though. I mean, what I could, you know, just out, out of the top of my head, um, what I can do is uh, put some more of this stuff in on the cliffs. Where is it? Scroll, 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 scroll. That stuff there. Look. Uh, I see. Yeah. Put some of that along the back wall, maybe. I'll break it up slightly, wouldn't it? What does that look like when you get up close to it? But nah, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, well, that's floating out right a lot. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you sort of think about this area. And, uh, oh, ooh, looking at the time, guys. Uh, we're going to be calling this quits in a second. Um, what I need to do, first of all, is the TX. Oh, I was going to bring the Anderson thing up, course play. Give us a break. Of course, probably being a bully as usual. Yeah, before I finish off, guys, let me just pop up to the ER. Uh, yeah, I'll bring that down. I'm not going to need it for up here at a minute. Our precarious mountain road. Whoa. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it in along this wall for the time being. We don't want that field. Oh well. I'm going to put a wee road in there as well somewhere. And we'll get our Anderson baler and uh, next thing we're going to do is go maybe make some silage bales up in that other field. Better watch you don't make this yard too tight for this. You know, moving sort of stuff in around it. So yeah guys, um, as I say, leave your comments down below and uh, if you want to like and share and all that lovely stuff, do please do so. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And don't forget the wee bell notification thingy to uh, make sure you don't miss anything new coming out. And from me, my console, until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye bye.